recording okay the recording is on so are uh, you welcome in the week two this is so amazing welcome so much uh it's been a long time hope you enjoyed the prolonged uh, weekend mode and yeah so before everything let's just go through the schedule and then uh, the announcement then we go on yeah the schedule of today we don't have that much of course the stand-up um, and then uh, the start, we have the stand-up today and then within the stand-up we have week one task presentation uh, of course we'll be having the tutors we'll take over that then you have a tutorial one introduction to week two challenge uh, which is um 12 pm to 1 pm then after that community building session which is 2 pm to 2 30 pm and then after that we have tutorial two career challenge introduction that will be it for today except independent challenge work yeah so that's the uh, the schedule for today so for tomorrow we have two tutorial and challenge submission for week one inter interim challenge submission tomorrow the first tutorial will be data uh, data extraction training transforming and formatting using module python and then of course uh tutorial to for tomorrow working with postgres sql we'll be using sql pandas and yeah you can see i think the schedule has been shared and uh, Wednesday, we have one tutorial and women only session. And then um, May 10th, we have QA, day five QA, that's Friday, from the building session and the day dashboard development, and then finish our work. I think that's it in a nutshell. Yeah. So I think we can. I can hand over to tutors for presentation. If there's no any other announcement from the team, Are there any? I think no, yeah. So we can go on with the presentation. Tutors, you, you can take over. Okay, uh, you can hear me, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we can start it and anybody who wants to start can raise your hand. Can you see hands in the queue? Uh, let's, let's at least today, let's speak. Uh, I hope maybe people have got like enough time to, you know, to relax and everything. So let's share. At least everyone should share today. At least everyone should, should speak. If you never speak, maybe uh, chat box can work, but it's better to speak. Yeah. So let's see hands in the queue. We go one by one to the presentation. Okay, well, go on, Abraham. Uh, hello, everyone. Good morning. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, okay. we can hear you, Abraham, but you need to raise your voice a bit. Okay. Uh, uh, how many do I have for uh, the presentation? I'm not sure if everyone had you. Uh, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. And now clear. And uh, how how uh, much time do I have to finish my presentation? We'll you again. I don't know if everyone can hear him. Is it only me or not? Abraham, your mic maybe 
you far from the mic or increase the volume it's not okay how about now now it's good yeah. okay yeah. how much time do i have uh, for uh, the presentation uh nati so how much? yeah yeah, yeah. Basically, you need to finish your presentation uh, in three up to five minutes. So okay. it's better in that way. OK, OK. Uh, OK, can I uh, share my, uh, should I share my screen or just? Uh... Yes, yes, you can, yeah. You can do that. OK, where is it? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you can you guys see my screen now? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, uh, so I uh, this is uh, my uh, you know optimized uh, report document for uh, week one presentation. Uh, for uh, for the week one challenge, uh, I have uh, done the following uh, analysis on the hairline, uh, and uh, found that I have done some basic uh, area analysis and uh, found the mean, median, and uh, minimum and maximum lengths of the hairline. And from this uh, uh, hairline, I have noticed that the hairline length is, uh, is quite. Uh, uh, varying so uh, it's not uh, constant uh, and i have also uh, done analysis for uh, 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 time series analysis for the publication uh, and uh, from my analysis i have uh, visualized it uh, using the, the graph below uh, as you guys see from uh, this graph the the publication uh, the publication uh, varies uh, in time uh, and there are some uh, significant uh, high uh, publications in, uh, in around uh, maybe 2022 maybe uh, i don't know uh, this may be because of uh, uh, the covid uh, on that day i don't know maybe but there was, uh, I have noticed that there was a significant amount of, uh, I mean, high um, uh, high publications were recorded around uh, 2020. Uh, and uh, I have done also uh, a publisher analysis to identify which uh, publisher uh, wrote, uh, written uh, um, most uh, articles. And uh, I have write uh, top three of them, uh, so that uh, uh, we can uh, we can uh, we can monitor these uh, top uh, authors to to understand the market better. Uh, and then I have uh, I have done sentiment analysis and uh, found these results. Keyword analysis. I have also identified most common keywords here uh, i have fetched the data using y finance here uh, and then perform uh, quantitative analysis uh, using uh, a ta uh, ta leap and found this these are my uh, results and uh, from from uh, from this i have uh, from the above results i have uh, recommended uh, this this these were my uh, uh, recommendations and to to perform uh, all these workers i have used uh, pandas uh, pandas for uh, data analysis for visualization what uh, seaborn and uh, math were uh, uh, used for natural language processing uh, and ltk and uh, explode text was uh, used for uh, uh, you guys can can see this uh, i have used the, the the following tools here for uh, for doing this these tasks uh, and uh, from doing this uh, this project i have learned and uh, the following 
uh, I have understand and prepare the data. I have utilized EDA techniques, uh, basic EDA techniques. Uh, also, uh, I have uh, I have been, I have learned to uh, to apply uh, uh, TA TA library to calculate uh, the following, and I have also uh, able to learn uh, to do the sentiment analysis, correlation analysis. Uh, uh things and uh, when uh, i i uh, i work on uh, week one challenges this uh, this were the the problem or the challenges i have uh, faced so far uh, the first one was uh, the date uh, as you as you guys uh, know i have been uh, talking on uh, on the community on the slack and also on the stand-ups uh, the date was very challenging uh, for me, uh, but I was I was able to to get help from you guys, and uh, I got the solution. Thank you for that. And there was uh, one challenge. Another challenge was the code execution was very uh, too long, uh, and uh, the the action I have to can some of the I ran some of my codes on Google Lab. But some of them, they took too much time, uh, even on the collab. Uh, and then the action I took for that was just selected uh, maybe top top uh, top five uh, data and perform my analysis on that. I think my time is up. I should stop now. Thank you. Okay. Thank thank you, Abraham. Uh, that, that's really great and thanks for sharing your results and for next time you have actually taken uh your time efficiently that's great okay. anybody wants to go next Anyone else who's ready for presentation? Anyone who's ready for presentation? Thank you so much for, I uh, mean, Abram. Thank you so much for the presentation. It was nice. Okay. We can go maybe one by one. If you're ready to present, then we'll be. Let us know. Did that find him? So it's your okay, Matthew. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, am, am I audible? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Do you want to share the screen? Let me uh, let me share my screen. Okay, um, can you see my screen? Yeah, yeah, it's loading. Okay, thank you. Uh, the, uh, thank you for giving me this chance. Uh, uh, the last week uh, task was to analyze uh, for financial news center, the stock market uh, integration or uh, the effect of uh, financial news on the stock market. Uh, for uh, task one, uh, we were asked to to do uh, EDA analysis, uh, starting from data processing, like uh, uh, handling missing values. Uh, I check first, uh, the, I, I check for the, if there is any missing value, then I do a descriptive study, uh, EDA analysis, like, uh, like, like calculating the basic statistical uh contextual uh, links like uh, headline links uh, i check them uh, then uh, i count the number of articles per publisher to identify to identify the public uh, the, the active publisher like you see there here are the top uh, four uh, publishers with their uh, number of uh, articles they publish then i do uh, which one is uh, the <coughs> in which time most uh, news are uh, published so i check for uh, publication frequency over time uh, most uh, like you see, like here, uh, 
uh, in 2020, uh, there was a, uh, much, uh, a lot of applications. Like um, uh, Abri said, maybe uh, the, because of uh, COVID. Uh, the, the, next two, the next thing I do is uh, doing a supplemental analysis uh, using a, a, a natural language. Uh, toolkit. Uh, so I perform uh, the uh, the MK uh, and sentimental analysis, and uh, here is the uh, what I get from the uh, in, uh, from sentimental analysis. Here is uh, in in graph most of them are uh, neutral uh, sentiment, and uh, secondly positive, then negative. Uh, then I do uh, topic modeling, uh, uh, which is. Uh, uh, which one? Which words are more uh, have uh, power? So I check for the, the words in uh, here are uh, the top uh, topics uh, with their respective uh, words, uh, like you see here. Uh, the next thing I done was uh, using Vader uh, from NLTK plot the result. Then here is a sentimental score I get uh, the distribution of Vader sentimental score, uh, like you see here. Uh, then the next thing uh, I done is uh, doing uh, time series analysis. Then uh, here is what I get: uh, verification over time, uh, uh, the applications frequency over time. Uh, here is uh, um, uh, to see which one uh, uh, was majorly affecting the news. Uh, I use this one to, to show that. Uh, then uh, I check for like uh, previously said the mostly published uh, publishers. Uh, then, um, as the domains, uh, which publisher, uh, which domain publisher publish most of um, most of the articles uh, using their domains, their email. Here uh, is uh, the, the top five uh, ones. Uh, then uh, the insight I get was uh, from the task uh, one analysis. Uh, the this major uh, news article have neutral sentiment five by followed by positive sentiment. Negative sentiment are articles are relatively less frequent and they indicate a generally optimistic tone in uh, financial uh, news, uh, which uh, the insight I get from the above and the publication frequency and uh, publi uh, publisher contribution. Uh, so uh, then I then uh, yes I then sent the task two and uh, I fetch uh, the stock market data for the task two using uh, Y finance in the uh, why finance uh, the, the historical data of the stock markets i've done uh, for most of uh, for a lot of company but uh, as as a sample uh, i i show here as for some of them then uh, i then uh, i calculate the range for each uh, stocks uh, the time range uh, uh, here is a sample uh, to show their range then i fetch the stock market data from some stock symbol uh, it is diagram calibration uh, here is a there is a growth for uh, some uh, stock symbols, uh, and then, uh, for the task three, uh, I lose the stock market into Pandas data frame. Uh, here is after loading. Here is up, up, apply uh, the TLB analysis on the stock uh, data. Uh, here is a moving average uh, for uh, uh, AAPL uh, stock symbol company. Uh, here is for some of, of for some of the companies. Then uh, I I done a RSI I in the MACD uh, analysis. Uh, uh, here is for some companies. Uh, here is a graph uh, showing from some specific uh, companies. Uh, like for example, then I use uh, finance uh, for financial metrics. I done a standard deviation in the mean and the variance for some companies. Uh, here is a uh, diagram, uh, visual uh, representation, and uh, uh, then I have done <coughs> I plot the completeness and accuracy to show uh, their completeness and visualize the completeness uh, and uh, accuracy. I've uh, shown this visualization uh, so that you can check uh, the completeness for task force. Uh, I normalize in the, the I have done data the normalizing data in the uh, did uh, the alignment then uh, here is uh, what I get I merge the two and uh, what here is what, what I get uh, from the uh, result and uh, I done correlation analysis uh, on the news and the stock market to uh, to show uh, how the news was affecting the stock 
and uh, most uh, the result I get was uh, I, I used uh, some company like uh, four, uh, five, five, I think so, five, and uh, most of them are neutral sentiment. Uh, and uh, my result was uh, like like here, most of them are uh, neutral, uh, and uh, this correlation shows that uh, have a little effect uh, from the data I get, uh, then the news have uh, a small effect on the stock market. And the recommendation uh, I use was uh, real time diverse data set. Uh, and the limitation of work uh, is uh, data quality and, if, uh, uh, and the further analysis uh, is needed to conduct uh, to get more uh, uh, information. Uh, uh, and uh, to mention some of the struggle I faced was uh, like Abraham said, uh, it was uh, too large for uh, for uh, for an analyzing on uh, our local machine. So I used Polar for some of uh, like uh, fetching stock market data. Uh, uh, for some of them, I used Google Polar, and uh, and uh, also uh, it, it's it was taking too much time, and uh, the struggle I faced was uh, that one. And uh, I, I also faced a lot of struggle in installing a tail up uh, because I'm using Windows. Uh, it, it was very hard uh, to install it. So I uh, I use uh, that part in Google Chrome Lab and uh, I also shared my uh, how I, I was able to install it on Google Chrome Lab and so that other uh, my peers can use it. Uh, thank you for, uh, for listening. Uh, if you have any questions. Mm -hmm. I have done uh, the presentation. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Marius. Uh, so, why haven't you tried to look for the news that have or the stock symbols that have uh, less neutral values or? somehow more positive or negative sentiment values uh i was uh, i wasn't able to i haven't get uh, a lot of time because it's uh, it's uh, there was a holidays also so i wasn't uh, able to, to get more time to do a lot of uh, check is uh, that have uh, not uh, less neutral uh, uh stop symbols uh, to do that that's why the time was uh, closer to, to our holidays, therefore it was uh, very hard uh, to manage that. Uh, that was uh, a purpose. Okay, your overall presentation was great. Thank you. And let's see who wants to go next. Anyone else? Anyone else ready for presenting? Okay, maybe I'll be asking one by one if you're ready or not. Um, a Jerusalem? A Jerusalem, how is it on your side? And Endewok Abera, we have Kalikidan. How about your presentations? We have uh, Kerbel Asefa. We have Yadasa Tarafa and the Hun. So, hello. Yes, Kerber. Yeah, I'm not ready for the presentation. Sorry. You're not ready for presenting. Like, uh, what was the challenge? Maybe what? What may be the challenge? The challenges I have faced when when I was doing the project, or 
Yeah, maybe not being able to present or maybe not being ready there in the challenge. Yeah, I, I didn't know it was a presentation today. Okay. But I can discuss uh, what issues I faced when I do the project. Okay, uh, cool. The first issue I, uh, I was faced was on installing uh, some packets like mm, TALib. Mm, I tried to install it, but uh, it wasn't working on Windows. I was using Windows. That was the challenge I faced, uh, but uh, I tried to do the others. That's all. Okay. Uh, okay, so... No, okay, there are only a few papers here, and from next week on, it will be announced on Slack too. Uh, presentation will be required. Maybe uh, it, it wasn't announced properly, but from next week on, it will be required. So they, today it's not mandatory. So we just we just want to see who will do it uh, willingly. So. Now we we have seen who will do it and who won't. So from next week on, it will be a mandatory one. So anybody who has presented will actually be reflected on their overall performance and overall uh, grades. So the reason we are doing that is you have to learn the culture that you have. It's a must to present your work. How do I know you have done it? Or how do I know you understand the concept unless you actually present it to to us so that's a really challenge for us to understand where your where your strengths lie where your weakness lies so now let's say we understand that so we will actually give you a better challenge that will uh, make your weaknesses actually seems more seems less uh, in, in order when you are actually trying to present for another person let's say a potential employer you will you 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 already done it so many times it's just a normal thing for you you can you can use your time properly you can actually con you can present your work concisely and effectively so you have to understand that it is really important presenting your work is important and as ten academics culture we are we we always try to enforce that into trainees so it will be announced on Slack and it will be mandatory from next week on. Amazing. Thank you so much, Nathaniel. Uh, so we are done. I think that was pretty much. But then um, we can just give the space if you have any question or any challenge, any setback, maybe last week. You can you can speak you can raise up your hand before the queue and if you want to share maybe how was the mode we've been away for almost four days five five four, five days so yes your answer hello everyone yeah you can hear you okay uh, i can't present my work so is there any time schedule for me to present my work? Analyze or work because I am at work less and I couldn't do at this time. Maybe at another time and do that. I'm not sure if I got you right. It was kind of breaking, but Nathaniel, did you get what he say? Uh, no, I didn't. My... Yeah, maybe if you, yeah. Okay, I can write on the chat maybe. 
yeah, yeah, better, better. I think that's that's cool. Um, I think he wants to reschedule a presentation if possible. He is at work. That that's what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, yeah, but uh, so the presentation, you don't have to pre uh, prepare another file or another slides to present. You can just use your uh, report that you have done and submit it to the Tenix platform when you, you submit it on Friday, uh, Saturday. So you don't have to uh, work on another slide. If, if you do, that's better. But for now, for today, you can just present using your uh, reports. That's for everyone. I, uh, can I just speak because I couldn't share my slide because I am using my phone. I, I am on some because I couldn't uh, PC, so I can speak just to speak. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. So I did the analysis of the main and by using the describe method the uh, mean median thing is and i get results and i did the analysis on the uh, who is the most publisher at individual level and at company level maybe in there are companies uh, who use their uh, email as a publisher name and i get that uh, there is one individual publisher Frequently, his, his name is Paul. Uh, uh, I don't know what the kind. Uh, I don't know the pronunciation, but his name, first name was Paul. And uh, there is a company named Benzie uh, who is frequently publishing. Uh, I, and also, I did the sentimental analysis. Yeah, they did. Like, get for positive, neutral, and the negative the sentiment analysis. And uh, the neutral one is bigger than the positive and the negative. And also I did uh, the stock of, uh, price analysis. I, I have choose five companies, Amazon, Google, Apple, and the one uh, old Tesla. Uh, I did get the analysis. And then I try to relate the uh, stock price rise and the sentiment analysis. Maybe if it's a uh, has and uh, the correlation was little. I mean, with the, on the stock price, the correlation was zero point zero three eight, I think. So. I did that. I, I can't say more because I don't have slide uh, what I have uh, catch up with when I do the analysis. Thank you. OK, uh, thanks, Edso. Okay, thank you so much, uh, yes, sir. Anyone else left behind a bit? Want to present or something? Or question, setback, challenge before we wrap up? Anyone, anyone, any question, any challenge? I was challenging one because I, 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 I am doing some big project in in the government uh, company so the, the time was so tight and uh, i was so busy that is the challenge for me okay yeah i maybe i i couldn't do my best because of the time so yeah sorry for that
any 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 person news with a challenge or setback okay abram abram we can, we can speak in case you're speaking we can't hear you Abraham, I can see your hand raised. Hello? Hello, Abraham. Can I, can I be heard? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we couldn't hear you actually. I was confused. Like, in case you're speaking, we couldn't hear you. Okay. okay uh, uh, I have just uh, one question uh, about the folder structure. I have already questioned this. Uh, I mean, I have asked this uh, on the previous uh, stand-ups too. Uh, maybe uh, I don't know if someone uh, maybe from the tutors can uh, can show can show me uh, some uh, demo uh, on how to uh, maintain a good uh, folder st structure uh, using some example file because I have uh, having very hard time to uh, to to maintain that uh, that folder structures. Uh, there are uh, importing error that came that that keeps coming uh, up uh, uh, most of the time. So uh, I want to question. Uh, I want to ask uh, that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for the question. We we have to choose in the call. We we can insist you on that. Uh, maybe Kerod. This is yeah. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Um, so Abraham, uh, so the, your question is it about how to maintain the code structure that uh, the for the folder structure that we gave you, or I'm con confused. Okay, just uh, to uh, to clarify, I. Uh, I want to follow the suggested folder structures. Uh, I want to uh, put some of my code on the script uh, file and some of it on the source file. Uh, I have also, uh, the, the, there is a the folder called the test files too. But when I try to uh, follow that and uh, uh, I write some, some functions in uh, some classes in a script folder, and then yeah. when I try to use them uh, on the source folder, oh, or okay. else, I get port zero. You know, uh, that's my question. Okay, so the year, it's the year you got. Uh, le let me guess. It's not finding your source or your yeah, uh, codes, yeah, exactly. Your yeah, files. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is because uh, where you are running your Python, you are running your Python. Maybe somewhere else yeah um, I, I tried very different uh, approach uh, and um, okay. uh, you can import and your sys system and um, i was uh, i was hoping maybe we uh, we we can have uh, some kind of uh, meeting uh, maybe after this and i'll show you yeah, how, yeah, how many yeah, different sure. ways i have to have tried to solve this yeah, yeah, sure, sure. We can, we can. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, okay. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, anyone else? In, in, any other question? Any other challenge before we wrap up? I hope everything is fine now. Any announcement from the team?
Yes, Ilya. Um, it's not an announcement, just a, a general comment. Uh, the installing, uh, figuring out how to uh, import setting the system, those technical uh, issues, uh, you, you should be able to figure it out by yourself. Uh, it's it, it it takes time to get it, but you have to practice to install a package, whether it's a Linux or Windows, right? Uh, we we couldn't show you during the tutorials because uh, different people use different OS, uh, so doing that will take time, right? That's your task to figure it out. Um, I think uh, Abraham and someone else was talking about uh, TLM, right? Installing TLM. I know it's kind of difficult for especially Windows users. Uh, we, we even arranged a meeting, uh, Reddit and me with others, but nobody didn't show up. Even Kirovel, I think. Uh, if you struggle that much, you should reach out to us and we can help you, right? But remember that you, you have to figure it out by yourself because after you finish this uh, training, you will, you will end up with the same issue, right? So if we show us you now, uh, who is gonna show you later? So you have to learn that. I uh, just want to say that, thank you. Amazing, this, this is fantastic. Thank you so much, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that's it for today. Uh, just a reminder. How about our assignment and results? Matt was is asking results and assignments. Um. Okay, so uh, for Matthias, I think he's asking about the assessment results. So the assessment results will be, uh, I believe, uh, given back to you guys uh, at the end of the week. But uh, I will tell you the correct dates, maybe on the next session. All right. Thank you so much. So, uh, which is the next session actually is introduction to week two challenge, which is actually uh, 12 p.m. This is African time. So let's be there on time. I think that was it today. Thank you so much for joining. Yep, we can wrap up. Thank you, bye.